Are you misusing the term air gapped? If so, don't sweat it. People have been using the term to describe a broad range of isolated network configurations. So let's get in to the five most common. Number one, physical. This is the most restrictive type of air gapping, where there's a physical break between the isolated and the trusted network. This is real air gapping. Files and information must be hand-delivered to the interior network. This setup is used in military or high security use cases. Number two, bridge. In this setup, an intermediate server called a jump box acts as a controlled bridge between the trusted and isolated infrastructure. Admins connect to the jump box from the trusted side, fetch necessary files or updates, and then push them into the isolated network. Number three, virtual private network. With a virtual private network, or VPN, infrastructure is isolated from the internet but fully accessible from the trusted internal network. Operators can connect freely over the VPN, but the infrastructure itself still cannot download files. This is similar to the bridge setup, but with no central choke point. Number four, proxy network. For this type, all outbound requests must go through a proxy network that manages traffic. Proxies are common in enterprise environments. They're often configured with strict rules that only allow access to specific whitelisted domains. While it's possible to access the internet, there may be significant limitations. And number five, gateway. This is the most relaxed type of air gap, where outbound traffic is not limited and inbound traffic is still restricted. Your infrastructure can pull anything from the internet via a gateway. A gateway is a traffic forwarder that allows you to make requests in your network and it will pull traffic from the outside. Air gapping isn't just about security, it's about control. So knowing what type you're running is important for troubleshooting. At RackN, we encounter these five types and many more helping customers build secure bare metal infrastructure. Want to know more? We have a deeper analysis of the benefits and drawbacks of each configuration on our blog that's linked below.